All right. So today I am joined by LGBTQ plus actor of stage, TV, and film, Kevin Daniels. How are you doing today? Pretty good, Danny. Pretty good. How are you, man? I'm well, thank you. So right now you have several projects in the works, but I'd like to begin by talking about your upcoming film, Not Another Church Movie, which will be released in theaters May 10th. What can you tell us about it? Well, it's a parody. It's a it's a fun little comedy, kind of like a bunch of SNL skits glued mm-hmm. together about uh, the church movie genre, mm-hmm. uh, specifically kind of like the the massive works of Tyler Perry, what he's created, and uh, we've kind of like you know we take we make some little light jokes and have a little fun with it. Uh, it's it's a fun movie. Awesome. Yeah, I love that. This is very much a spoof of Tyler Perry's Medea movies. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know if he's seen it yet or what his thoughts about it are? I don't know. I hope I hope he has. I hope he gets a joke. I'd love to actually my, my dream would be to see uh my dude hymns and and, and Medea. <laughs> yes. Oh, that'd be amazing. Great. I don't want that. Yes. So you play Tyler Tyler Taylor Harry. Is that how you say it? Taylor yes, Harry. Taylor Harry. Uh the P is silent, you know. That's okay. that's what it's yeah. so Taylor Harry and Madude Hems. Yeah. How challenging was it to play dual dual roles? And have you done a project before where you played multiple characters? Uh, not not like this. Not not like this with the uh, the makeup and the wig and the you know changing back and forth and acting opposite yourself. That was all new to me, but it was really really fun. But it gave me a, a completely uh, new. Uh, what is it? Uh, admiration for what Al Tyler does. I was like, oh, this wig yeah. is hot, man. This is hot. <laughs> <laughs> and for drag queens as well. I mean, all these yeah. men who who are drag queens, they had to put them full makeup, dresses, and wigs on. Yeah, it's a, it's a process. It's a process. I was like, hats off, man. Hats off. Yes, yeah. I once uh, worked on um, uh, AJ and the Queen. I played uh, RuPaul's lover, and I would watch Ru like go, and he'd be like, look, <laughs> you know, it's right before I get in all this costume. I'm like, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. yes and this movie also has an all-star cast which includes jamie yeah. fox mickey rourke vivica a fox what was it like working with such big hitters i gotta tell you man i was just so happy i was like i felt like a, a kid who had like won the the magic ticket at the, the chocolate factory i was like yeah. i get to do scenes with you know kyle pratt lamar morris and like you know tisha campbell i'm like yeah i'm down i'm ready to go mm-hmm, but it definitely. was really fun I mean, everyone came in there was no egos everybody just wanted to like it was basically a, a bunch of favors for johnny mack Mm-hmm. Who would who would work with Jamie for years as one of his writers, and he kind of got like called in. Everybody wanted to like everybody got the joke, and we just got to set and we just made some you know, made some fun, some fun. Awesome, fantastic. And what do you ultimately hope audiences take away from not another church movie? You know, I really just want people to laugh again. I feel like we've all gone through a, a rough couple of years, and it's nice to like come in with like a low expectation of the movie and just like, can we make you smile? Can we make you laugh? Yeah. Can we make you buy another movie ticket? That's it. Mm, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Plain and simple. Yes. Sure. Now on television, you currently yep. play Franklin, a police detective on ABC's Will Trent. What I do, been- I do. We've got three more episodes left for the season. Uh, I love the show. Those guys are so great. And I, I you know, I, every time they call me to come play with one, I'm like, yes, I'd love to come do more with you. Whatever awesome. you say. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so season two finale will air at the end of this month. Can, uh, do you yeah. know any details on what we can expect from Franklin in season three? Uh, I don't know yet. But I, I Based on what I do know of the end of season two, it's going to be quite a ride. <laughs> okay, quite a ride? Okay, awesome. And what about Tiny and Paramount Plus's reboot of Frasier? What can we expect? I start that next week. We uh, have uh, They have their first uh, uh, live audience uh, tomorrow night, actually. Nice. That, uh, Wednesday is uh, my first table read for episode two. So we'll okay. see. I still haven't seen the script yet, so I'm I'm excited. But they're like, okay. we'll see you Wednesday morning. I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's go. Live, let's live. go. Yeah. Guys are great. Is it true that you appeared in an episode of the original Frasier series? I did. I did. Uh, I uh, played uh, Steve, who was a uh, barista who worked at a, a rival coffee shop that uh, mm-hmm. Frasier and Niles went to go visit. And I was talking to the showrunner about it when we were shooting season one of the reboot. And he goes, yeah. I think maybe Tiny just has like a twin brother. And I was like, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that what made you want to be involved with the reboot? Uh, I just, I mean, the idea of getting a chance to work with Kelsey Grammer, like on that kind of level, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, oh, I, I loved the original show. And I was like, I would love to get a chance to do more than one episode. For sure. So mm-hmm. I kind of got, the scripts are really funny and Kelsey's fantastic. So mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah Frasier is one of my absolute favorite sitcoms. So it's, it, Kelsey Grammer is a gem to work with, just like I, yeah. I would imagine. Oh yeah, 100%. And you know, Jeff Greenberg, who cast Frasier, also cast me on uh, Modern Family years ago. Okay. So like, so whenever Jeff calls and says, hey, you want to do this? I'm like, yes, absolutely. Yes, so I'm like, it. 
Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. So you've been in the entertainment industry for over 20 years as a character and comedic improv actor. Has this always been your passion? I think so. Yeah, I was a kid and I wanted to like, I grew up in the church and I used to play John the Baptist running around with a little cut off head. And then I went to, <laughs> went to high school, uh, got involved in like poetry and like uh, theater competitions. And then I, I had, I went to this uh, theater school um, fair, I could say like different schools from wherever. And Juilliard was there with a little table in the booth mm -hmm. and a little postcard. I filled it out, got an application. My grandmother flew me to New York. I auditioned, I got in. And then my life changed. That's kind of been it. I've just been like steadily working. Steadily working. Perfect. Yep. And you're also one, uh, considered to be one of the first openly LGBTQ plus black actors in Hollywood. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I, I was reading. I, I'll take I'll take all the first you can give me. I'll take yes, <laughs> yes, yes, take it. So that's from cool. your point of view, what was Hollywood like when you came out and what was the response like? You know, I, I really, I never really... I guess just never talked about my sexuality publicly. And it wasn't until actually I was uh, doing RuPaul's show. He put me on his podcast and we just got to, got to chatting. And I'm like, well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to just be me. And I think that when I was able to like, just not try to like hide or obf obfuscate stuff, I think yeah. I, I began to work more. I'm just kind of like, I was just more relaxed myself. And it was kind of great, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, and it, I haven't seen it negatively affect my career. You know, I, and I, I remember I remember vividly growing up and watching people who would come out and then not work again. And I was like, oh, that's too bad. But I think life has changed a little bit now. You know, yeah, it's great yeah. to see representation. It's great to be out there. And like, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an actor and I play a lot of different characters and I play a lot of different facets of characters. And I'm also a human being. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely. So you would say that Hollywood has made significant progress when it comes to LGBTQ plus actors? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. 100%. Awesome. Well, at LA's Rogue Machine Theater, you are now starring in the play Monsters of the American Cinema as a whittled African-American guy, a uh, gay father raising his white stepson. Yeah, I oh. love this play so much. We've got about five more performances. So if you're in LA, please come check us out. Uh, yeah. it's Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, we close on the 19th. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So what have you taken away from this production? And how does this, does this role stand out from any other character you have ever played? You know, what I love about this is it's a, uh, it's a meditation on like family and love and loss. And it's also a coming of age story about how, how does one define manhood in the age of like racism and sexism. And, you know, and it's it kind of, it's, it's a really funny play, but it's also very touching. And it's mm -hmm. about like the monsters that are in all of us and what our monster is, what yeah. we're dealing with, mm -hmm. you know? But yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I just kind of, it's one of those things I, when I read the script, I was like, oh, yeah, I would absolutely love to do this. Because, I mean, I get to play, like, eight different characters in, in, in this script. Okay. Like, okay. Eight different ranges. Mm -hmm. You know, the brief father, the the the, the goofy uh, stepfather, the, <laughs> the brief lover, the, the, the actual monster. You know, it's, it's a bunch of it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of layers to it. Perfect. A lot of layers, a lot of layers. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what are some future goals you hope to accomplish with your career? You know, I'd love to, like, uh, fi figure out how you, like, uh, you know, Put together your own projects like i'd love to sign a check maybe i can executive produce and make a movie or make a tv show or yeah. you know do a film i just want to continue to tell good stories that are interesting to people and like you know it's just something that that makes you think or makes you feel or or makes you laugh which yeah. may 10th that's what i want to do may 10th come laugh with us may 10th. yes i love it love it all right kevin well how can one stay up to date with you uh, you know, I'm a, I'm very active on Instagram. So if you guys ever go on Instagram, it's Kevin Daniels 27. Uh, I have a Twitter account, Katie Daniels. And I'm also on Blue Sky, but I don't know what that handle is right now. Okay, but you, can okay. my, you can go to my Instagram and it'll tell you how to get to Blue Sky, but I'm, I'm really active on Instagram. All right, perfect. Then yeah. before we wrap up, are there any other upcoming projects or anything else you would like to mention or plug at this time? Oh, wow. I don't know, man. Um, feed the whales? No, I'm just gonna, I'm just <laughs> Be kind to all. Um, yeah, be kind of all. It's all good. Danny, <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for talking to me this morning, man. I appreciate it. Of, of course. Definitely. Thank you.